In this video, we'll take a quick look at LibreOffice and see some of the different tools and features that it has. If you're not familiar with LibreOffice, it's a free and open source alternative to Microsoft Office. So it has things like Microsoft Word and presentations and Excel. Uh, the only difference is they're called, so this is called Writer, for example. But you can write different things. You can create books. It has built-in spell checker, and you can change the font and the color and the size, and you can add pictures. There's also some lesser known tools like this math tool, which you can use to create different math formulas uh, that you can then print or embed in your Word documents or in a presentation. So it's a really good tool, all kinds of different functions here. This would be a great resource for teachers that are coming up with assignments or for students trying to express uh, mathematical uh, equations. Um, another great tool is this draw which lets you draw different things. Um, and you can create, sometimes when you're creating a document, you actually need to do some different drawing. So you can draw different shapes, you can work with text. Here's an example of like an emergency contact card. And there's really good, I just downloaded this. In fact, all the examples we're going to look at here are things that I just downloaded, templates. And there's a really good community around LibreOffice creating different templates for things. So if you create something, you can also share that with the community, which is really nice. Really good options for printing. Um, so here's a book also designed in LibreOffice Draw, not in the Word section or the Writer section. So you can work with text really good with this as well. You can have different layers and levels of uh, objects on top of each other, like different pictures. And you can center and align the text really well and have different options. So a really good tool for creating any type of printed media, especially if you don't want to get into the nitty gritty of designing it. Um, it's very easy to use, LibreOffice is. Here's an example of a template of grid paper if you want to print your own grid paper. Moving on to the calc tool. So calc is very similar to Excel. You have different uh, cells and formulas that you can add in here. And this is very a very colorful, bright one. Uh, I think that's a, this one here is like a Bible reading um, plan where it calculates based on different cells. Here's a risk assessment where you can change the numbers and this chart updates in real time. You can create something like a calendar. Um, so if you're familiar with Excel, uh, you'll know this has very similar features and functionality where you can link one cell to a different cell and pages and have different macros and uh, functions applied to them. So you can, like this calendar, for example, you change the date in one location and it updates that on every page of the calendar. This is like the presentation tool. It's called uh, Impress. And so you can add different backgrounds. You can work with text and bring in your own images and video and audio files and then create a presentation. I believe you can even open up, well, with all of these tools, you can open up um, all the different type of Microsoft documents. So if you create something in Microsoft Word, you can open it in LibreOffice. Same with a presentation. If you have a PowerPoint presentation, you can open it and edit it in LibreOffice. And there's pretty good um, custom, uh, functionality for that. You can create your own custom charts in all the different tools across LibreOffice. There's also a database tool that we're not going to get into called Base, but it's similar to Microsoft Access. Hope you found this video informative, guys. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.